every day I wake up and I think, what could Sophie's life be like if she didn't need to wait for me to help her, you know, do anything and everything? When I think about Rett syndrome, I think it affects motor planning, speech, and purposeful hand use. Now think about your day if you couldn't talk, you couldn't move very well, and you couldn't use your hands. It's a pretty tough situation. It can come with tons of medical complications. He's had, you know, some of the big ones like scoliosis, but teeth grinding and the hand wringing, and the anxiety. I I guess anxiety is a big one, but there's so much more than their body. And they're waiting just for someone to take that key and open up the door. At this point, I, I, I believe it's science. You know, there's no promises as, as to how long that'll take. We're willing to do the hard work so that when science opens our door, we're ready. There's just so much hope out there, and I feel like over time it just keeps growing. And working, you know, with the idea that Rett syndrome can be cured, and I just, you know, hope that people can join our journey and support our cause and make a difference for, you know, just all these people that are trapped in their bodies that I just know there's so much more there. Rocky Mountain Red Association needs your help to raise funds to offer additional clinic days these extra days will help decrease the long wait list and bring us closer to a cure. Thank you.